Hello and welcome back to my videos. In this video we want to speak about the Elgato gaming product called Stream Deck. And I'm not speaking about the hardware in general, I'm speaking about the code wise, how you can code to it and how the, the architecture are working from the Stream Deck SDK plugin. So I hope you want to join me today and uh, I really hope you want to subscribe to this channel. You can go in the right corner below and press on the thing. You can like and share this video if you want. If you have any questions, please make a comment below in the comments fields, and then I'll try to answer them. So, the first we want to speak about it's uh, how the architecture are working, and um, you can see here on the screen the Stream Deck uh, SDK architecture is having the manifest.json. You have the code, you have property inspector, and then you have the assets. And I want to speak about li a little bit about what is inside every part of. Uh, um, the steps. The manifest is the file. You can say it's 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 kind of a configuration file. How your plugin should work. How you can point to the code path. If uh, it's HTML, you will point to the. Uh, if it's a JavaScript, you will point to the HTML file. If it's a command, uh, compile command line tool, like C plus plus, Objective C, and, and something like that, then you will point it to that file. Each plugin should have the unique identifier, and uh, it's, uh, it's the plugin you can push up to the, the Stream Deck stall if you want, or you can just put it for your own website, or you can just share the code with your internal friends and something like that. The identifier should always have the unique format and it should be UTI format. It's, it's the characters where you own combined A to Z minus. And dots and zero to nine, and it's a string must be reserved DNS file, so you cannot uh, just uh, pick up whatever format you want. For example, my domain is pnk.sh, so the way I'm working with my plugins should be like sh dot pnk dot and hello if I want to create the hello world plugin, and then when you need to create the action, I will use dot and then the action name. That's how it's it will work. Each plugins will uh, running inside the the own instance, and uh, it's meaning you break five inst uh, actions from the plugin in in the same time. Then it will be in five different uh, location and and presses on each, and it will send a single instance uh, with every uh, five uh, contacts. So let's jump in a little bit about back for the architecture before we are continuing for the next step. As I said, the manifest JSON is about like a, a little configuration file where you define something. The code is uh, what I'm saying. It's the point where you code the, the HTML will be the point to the HTML file where you code the JavaScript inside. Or you point to the binary file. Property expector, it's if you have seen the previous video, it will be about uh, the configuration about uh, a single uh, plugin where you can get uh, more data into your plugins or actions. The assets is where you place your image, or, uh, like the icons for your plugin, and something like that. All the, the, the files you don't want in the root path. When you create the plugins, all the plugins will be the coordinate based, and this will be. Um, this will be start with the zero. So the first button will be, you can see the zero, zero, and then it will be one zero. And if you press on the, the button, the button button in the left side, then this will be zero two because it's the row at zero and button number two based on one, uh, zero, one, two. If you uh, are coding, normally you know the arrays and, and list in different languages. It's always starting with the zero. And that's why this is working. It's not for user friendly. It's it's to define how the code is working, and it's working pretty good. And I would say that's very nice. The the guys who have have changed it, uh, not changed it. it. I think it's always have been that. But uh, it's, it's nice. It's uh, thinking about the, it's to developers and not uh, it's, it's eye candy uh, developer tools. So that's I really love that because I'm not a designer and I love to code. And that's why I really, really love the way the Elgato system is working. 
and it's funny to to code with JavaScript and have some kind of hardware or software to trigger uh, to combine that. That's all for me in this video. I really hope you you love it and you understand the architecture behind the Stream Deck from Elgato. And uh, I hope you want to subscribe. You can go into the bottom uh, right corner and then uh, press on the thing. I really hope you want to leave the comments if you have any questions. And of course, like and share this video if you want. Thank you and hope to see you next time. Bye.